Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, I just grabbed the Natasha Denona High Glam Powder Foundation. So excited. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It would give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday. So yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, let's get started. Okie dokies. All right. Yeah, yeah. Don't say I'm super excited, but I am so super excited. These past few weeks, I don't know what my problem is with foundations. No stinking clue. A couple weeks back I did um I did a video of a no makeup makeup look that I absolutely just spot concealed with concealer and then I just put like a tiny tiny bit of the the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Skin Tint which I adore and then uh, last week or the week before that I did a video with the Tear Tear Full Coverage Foundation PS I got a lot of input so I am going to try it another time but that was full coverage and now this powder no stinking clue i love natasha denona i actually have the concealer that i adore you know how much i adore this i also have like a bajillion of her eyeshadow palettes and i do have um and i oh my god my nails are terrible i'm just looking at them don't matter girl we're not talking about nails but anyway um this high glam powder foundation is supposed to not supposed to i'm going to take that back in conjunction, if you will, her serum, her high glam serum, which is so good. As a matter of fact, I have it. Let me just go get it real quick. Prepared as usual. Okie dokes. So here it is. This is the High Gen Energizing Hydrating Primer Serum. It is so, so beautiful. I want to say um, in the notes, halt in the name of the law, in her notes, um, let's see, in the notes, she has it in conjunction with it says here for best results use the Hylux sponge uh-huh use directly after the hygiene primer serum or or on top of your high glam concealer now you know if you guys watch me and i hope you do and by the way i would love for you to subscribe tell your friends help a newbie out tell them i am here um but anyway you know anytime i'm trying on a new foundation i like to just keep it nice and fresh i just have moisturizer on so um we're not gonna put anything under it but anyway i'm so freaking curious i did pick up um, N4 and 5. Now on her website, very bizarre. I think what it's claiming is that like one um, shade can really match three or four different shades. If I'm not mistaken, let me see. Follow this. Blah, 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 blah. Available in 36 shades. P.S. It is a refillable pan, so that is nice. Let me just tell you what it is. How about we start from the beginning? Let's start from the beginning. It is a powder foundation. P.S. I'm 56 years old. The only powder foundation that I have ever used and that I really love is the Fenty. This one is in 260, no clue. This is the only, listen, in my brain, it's powder. It's going to be cakey. It's going to be this and that. It's going to show every wrinkle. So what it does, this innovative formula contains Berry Flax Vita. Um, to help maintain the skin's hydration and some big word that I don't know how to pronounce for an anti-inflammatory properties to calm even calm and even skin tone packed with antioxidants this hybrid powder protects against environmental stressors while bio mimetric 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 pigments uh, make the formula melt into the skin and adjust to skin irregularities without breaking or flaking for airbrush look I'm so excited again I'm 56 years old girl I, I think of mad powder I don't even use powder do you know that you know I don't use that much powder but we're gonna do it it looks so so pretty so as a foundation for best results use the high Lux sponge provided um, in the component to blend the powder onto the skin for a seamless medium to high coverage finish use use um, directly with the with the uh, serum but we're not going to do that because I really want to um, I really want to see what it looks like on its own and then let me see as a setting powder um, this is Natasha's pro tip my friend Natasha you don't know her but she's my friend anyway apply with a face brush or a powder puff across the desired area of the face to set and mattify um, it's refillable where the heck did I read about the shades I don't know, but when I look, I'll leave the information below. Anyway, let's just get down and dirty into the product. I'm so excited. Ooh, you know how tactile I am. You know that. So this is what it looks like. This is the component. It feels, ooh, it feels very silicone. I'm getting goosebumps. Ooh, I love it. If anybody is tactile, I like legit, I'm getting goosebumps on my knees. This feels so good. 
and this is what the back looks like. So these are like those little dots. Can you see that? I guess you could um, put something in there to pop out the um, component. I like it. It's refillable because this is a beautiful compact. And you know, I've told you a million times, don't tell anybody. I'm a sucker for packaging. You know how much I love the packaging. So this is what, this is really pretty. It smells like nothing. That's really nice. It's got a cutie patootie little mirror. I guess we'll, uh, we'll pull this off. Let's pull it off. Uh-huh. Don't mind my nails, they're atrocious. That's, hi beautiful. Listen, no one's gonna tell you you're beautiful more than yourself. So tell yourself that you're beautiful. Anywho, here, under here is the beautiful, ooh, it does feel nice. It's, ooh, it feels so good. It's a, it's not like one of those, you know what it feels like? You know, like back in the day, day girl, you know, our age when they had like, they only had these puffs. They're really spongy. It's a cross between a puff and a sponge. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's dive in. Oh, look at that. They have a mirror on both sides. So there's a mirror where, where the sponge is held. And then when you flip your product, the mirror over here. Listen, now that I just did that, that is awfully thin for the product. Let me see if I can show you. Look how friggin' how many ounces is in here? Out of curiosity. 0.44 ounces. That is so freaking thin. Natasha! Let's go. I'm going to pat it like this. Wow, a lot came off. Now I'm going to try and swipe. Okay. I don't know if you swipe or you pat, but okay, right off the bat, but girl, you just had one swipe. Right off the bat, all I see are my pores right here, but let's give it a chance. You know what I think we'll do? Let's use this spongeroni on this side, and maybe we will use the brush on the other side, and then we could compare. And here's the thing, from my experience. First of all, the uh, color is pretty on point, right? Don't mind my neck because it's a little red. We were outside the other day and did not anticipate how hot it was. Very mattifying. Anyway, when I use... a uh, a powder product and not that I use a lot of it it looks a little dry in the beginning but once like you know the day progresses your oils seep through it does look beautiful so I don't want to say anything now because we are gonna wear for a little bit okay listen it's me it's not you how many times have we heard that girls it's me it's not you but I'm serious now like right over here is where I, me personally, you do whatever you want, me personally, I have like a little bit of loose skin like right over here. So I try not to put anything extra, anything drying, anything like shimmery, anything like right over here. But you can't help it with this, but so I could see it like right here. It's a little bit accentuated, but that's okay. We're going to keep on moving. And you know what? Let's do it like just one side. I already did my eyebrows. I burned my head. I'm just like full of troubles today. But it's okay. Look at that. Okay. Another thing I was thinking as I as I grabbed some products, um, and you know how much I love cream products, I don't think you could put cream products like on top of powder, right? Although I did read in one of her directions to put your concealer on first but I didn't because of course it's a liquid but we'll see okay so let me go through here Nicole you leaving yeah. was it something I said am I talking too much I am yeah well this is you know we, we got to talk can't let one hate comment ruin your day. Yeah, I, I can't have one hate comment ruin my day why who hate comment me you know I don't care about hate comments girl this is it with just that one pass Goodbye. Anywho, so this is it with just one pass. And of course, this is with nothing. Let me grab like my big mirror. Not that it's big, but. That's pretty. Let's go in on the other side with just a regular foundation brush. This is my, um, this is my 106 that I normally use. I'm going to just pat it in here. And I'm going to just do like I normally do. I usually just stipple first. And then like buff, but. Since I really don't think we have that much product, 
I don't know, powders are tricky to gauge, right? I think I'm going to just stipple first. I can tell you right off the bat, I think I like the brush better, but hold on. I'm going to say that I think the coverage is roughly the same. So this is with the sponge puff or whatever you want to call it. And then this is with the brush. Let's see if I could cover that up a little bit more out of curiosity. Hmm. So I think it looks really pretty. Let me just finish off and go down the neck and buffity buff buff. I want to finish the rest of my makeup. My only thought right now, first thing, is that you know how much I love cream products. Should we dare do it? No. Let's just let's let's just test out this particular product first, just the way it's intended to be used. So I like I like both of them. I have to tell you the truth. I like both um, applications. I think this one is just a little bit too much right off the bat. So I think this is really pretty for now. In this very moment, it's dry. It looks dry. It doesn't look drying. It just looks, I'm going to rephrase that. It looks very mattifying, and I'm not a matty kind of girl. But let's just move on. I'm going in with my favorite. You know that. This is the N1, the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. And I'm going to just put some right over there. Not a lot. Less is more. I'm going to tell you that until the cows come home, girl. Less is more. I mean, even look at that. That's a lot, right? Did I bring? No, I did not. I didn't bring like a sponge. I usually like to use my e.l.f. camo sponge, and I love to use that dry. P.S. I have my eye makeup on. I'll leave it down below. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just... Blend that in with my whoa, with my finger, and then I think I'm gonna go in with the brush and just like it said, if you want to set something, use it with a brush. And I will tell you, um, the Natasha Denona concealer is my only concealer that I do not need to set. I'm just saying that's how it works on me. Let's finish off. I'm going to go speedy, speed, speed. I want to finish off and, you know, dug on while I want to grab a cream product. But you know what? We'll do that in a different video. How about that? We'll do that in a different video. I want to give this its due diligence and just use it properly. And then maybe we'll see how it works by the end of the day. And the next time maybe we'll put like cream products on. That's what we'll do. So let me just speed up through this and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, so this is the final look. Let's see. Let me just assess the situation here. I know that's Allie Glein's catchphrase, but girl, don't we all assess? Don't we all assess? So, this looks so beautiful. By the way, if you haven't tried these Koki blushes, they are amazing. 
they almost look like the um, identical as Moira, Moira Cosmetics. I think you can buy these both on Amazon, this and Moira, but they're so beautiful. And you know, girl, I'm not a peachy girl. I'm a peach. Look how beautiful the peach looks. It looks so freaking pretty. I'm going to just go around. If you ever feel like you use too much product, no, no, I don't. I.e. blush. Just go back in with whatever tool that you used for like uh, foundation, contour, whatever, and then just go around the perimeter. That is so freaking pretty. Let me come close to you. Actually, let me get the hell up and show you real close. So this is it. Um, I normally don't powder. I normally do not powder, and I don't think you would powder with a powder foundation. I don't know unless people are legit like oily in the t-zone and they already know oh i've used powder foundation before and i know my oils break through here here and there so you would powder i'm not powdering at all i just think like i forgot in between my eyes i'm gonna get the heck up girl i'm getting the hell up and i want to get super close to you and i want to show you close up natasha I think it's pretty right off the bat like right here it looks dry I'm not gonna what's well, powder it's a powder I don't like matte I'm 56 years old um, I have some fine lines a couple of like spots that I'm not crazy about um, but I will tell you it feels like absolutely nothing on your face but let's see what time is it girl it's late it is 5 45 I'm gonna check in girl don't lie to the people I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and if I don't check in Please look down below. Everything will be in my description box, but I'm just curious to see if like my natural oils will come through. I am not an oily person. Um, I'm like normal, whatever the heck normal is. In the summertime, I get a little bit shiny. In the winter, I'm a little bit dry. Right now, it's a bajillion degrees here in New Jersey, and I don't care because spring stunk. So I'm grateful we went from like winter to summer. It's about 85 degrees out. But I'm just curious, like right now in this very moment, the only complaint I'm seeing right now is like, like, like I said, like this over here, like right here, I'm going to, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to show you in like natural light, like right over here and like right here where my pores are like the largest right over here. Like my eyeballs are going right there, which they normally don't. You know what I mean? But anyway, so that is it for now. That's it for now. And um, we'll definitely do a few check-ins. I hope, I pray, I pray, I hope. I will see you guys later. Okay, guys. So I am standing in front of a window with a light on. This is what it looks like. It looks really nice. It's a lot dewier, you know, than you think about like a powder foundation. But so far, so good. Okay, this looks amazing. Hmm. Okay, guys, so this is my last check-in. It's, uh, let's see here, 9 o'clock. I'm going to come close to you. Oh, Lord, here comes trouble. It is really, really pretty. I will tell you that um, it's creasing like right in my smile lines here, which I have never had, whoa, which I have never had with any other like foundation. And like I said before, I could see like these, where, where is he? Where is he? I could see like my pores are really, really big right here. So I think I like it though. It, look how beautiful it is. It doesn't look matte at all, which I really, really appreciate. But um, it's just a little bit, it shows a little bit extra pores here. Maybe I'll put like, dare I say, a primer on with this. And I think I won't use the sponge like right on my face, but um, around this area. I think I would use the sponge here or someplace else. But I think right over here, I think I would use the brush and buff it. But anywho, I think I really like this. I think this would be a great foundation for the summertime. But like I said, I don't have oily skin, so if you do, it may break through. But look how freaking pretty that is. That is so, so nice. And um, yeah, I think I really, really like it. Well done, Natasha. Okay, guys, so this is it. This is my video on a trying on the new Natasha Denona powder foundation. It is the High Glam Powder Foundation. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments below. 
Um, how old are you guys? If you don't mind it telling me, that's fine. But are you guys, how about this? Are you guys of mature skin? Do you guys use powder foundation? Do you guys use powder products? Do you powder? Do you set? Leave me some comments below. Have you guys picked this up? Have you used it? Do you like it? Don't like it? And yeah, so that's it. This is my video. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys be good to each other, love each other and have a great, great day. Bye.